the run-up to the 2020 election, we made a film about the psychology of Donald Trump. The film ended up being an examination of how authoritarian rulers rise to power. Sadly, the experts in the film were precisely right about Trump. Trump is a sociopath, a sadist, a con artist, a racist, a misogynist, a sexist in general, and I think it is a problem. They predicted, among other things, that he would not allow the peaceful transition of power. A very tense nation still waiting tonight to learn who will be the next president of the United States. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win to become the 46th president of the United States. The Trump campaign has indicated their candidate does not yet plan to concede. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. You'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength. Though Trump himself was defeated at the ballot box in 2020, it's now clear that he has seeded a dangerous strain of authoritarianism into American politics. The party is his. It doesn't belong to anybody else. Fueled by lies and disinformation, the Trumpist strain of authoritarian rule is growing day by day. We're proud of the work that we did on January 6th to That's make right. legitimate arguments about election integrity. It has already taken over one political party. Unless it is immediately defeated at the ballot box, the damage to our democracy will be catastrophic. We are already at work on a follow-up film that picks up where Unfit left off and shares the latest science on why democracies falter. The film will explore the appeal of cults and conspiracy theories, and even evolutionary reasons that people may be vulnerable to following authoritarian rulers. We came to Kickstarter as we did for Unfit, because it's important that the film be truthful and independent. It's time for all Americans of good faith to set aside distorted facts and misinformation and fight for their democracy with the truth. This is not a time to pretend that both parties are equally responsible for our political dysfunction. The truth is, Trump lost the election. If we don't understand why the appeal of Trumpism is so enduring, we could lose the republic.